afternoon. This is Chris Brecher with the Simpler Stocks free video for April 5th, 2017. It's five minutes after the close. Had a really exciting session in the gold side today. If you were wondering, by the way, our, I made it a lot easier to be able to sign up. So when you go to the page, Simpler Stocks, and you go to $7 trial membership, or you go into the videos, so you go to the free videos, I'll show you. When you click on free videos, on the bottom sign up now, it now goes to this page. You can now decide whether you want to try this, the gold or, uh, or the silver trial. I would just try the gold because that includes everything. And I'll go over later what that includes. So to let you know today, today was all about the market trying to make up its mind. A little uncertainty because of uh, the head of China coming to uh, down where, near where I live, not where I live, near where I live in South Florida. A lot of uncertainty on Thursday. On the other hand, the NASDAQ leading the way, and that's just powering up the ESs. So by the end of the day, ES is up 250, NASDAQ up 11. You have the EMD, which is the mid cap down fractionally, and the IWN, the Russell down fractionally. So you get some interesting divergences in here. Bonds down seven, transports up 14. Yeah, gold up fractionally, up four, and silver up 11 up here. Crude oil having a nice day up 81 cents. Advanced decline, that says it all about the uncertainty in the market. There was one more decline than advancers. That's pathetic. Yeah, the UVXY down again, which isn't surprising. It's supposed to go down. It's a depleting commodity. It's terrible. Nikkei down 80. DE Dow down for actually in China, I believe, closed for a holiday. So let me just explain something about the market because a lot of people get this wrong. Go over on the left and go over the SPX. And a lot of people say, oh, the NDX and the SPX can diverge and that's fine. That is not true. And a lot of people are like, but, you know, like 1999, we're going crazy with the NDX going up while nothing else is. I want you to realize the NDX is up here, no doubt about it. ES down here, nice divergence. What I want you to do now is I want you to go back 20 years. And when you go back 20 years, this is going to open your eyes to what happened back then. In fact, the best way to do it is with a weekly. I'm sorry. We'll make it 20-year weekly. It's just easier for everyone to see. Look on the right. That's the NASDAQ topping out on March 20th. I know when it topped out because that was the day that I got my father-in-law to open, finally open a day trading account. I'm not kidding. The exact day of the top. And he always kids around that for a year he had the account until he gave up, he broke even. That was a pretty, not a small feat. This is what I want you to see. Zoom out. And you guessed it. I know this was parabolic on the right, but the top in the NASDAQ corresponded to the top in the SPX. They did go up together. Did they go up as fast? No. But the trend of both was up. So that's what I want you to realize is usually the NDX and the SPX go hand in hand. Now, obviously, when it was going up right here, this just futzed around. But until this fell apart, this didn't stop going to, uh, up, you know, and started selling off. They went up together. Now, a converse on here, you might say, well, how about the Russell? Maybe the Russell was different. Go and look at the Russell up here and look when that topped. Like two weeks earlier, nothing. Same kind of idea. Now, that had a lot more volatility, uh, especially down here in 98. I was there. But it's still, the trend was up. They all went together. The big divergence was the transports. Look at the transports. They topped out in May, May 10th, my birthday, 1999. They went down for a full one year until the NDX and the SPX took notice. So a Dow Theory sell signal, that can go on forever. So just to let you know, it can go on for months. 
So to let you know on the uh, premium side, we're going to go a lot more in depth of what stocks I think you should trade in this environment. So to let you know what that includes, it includes the chat room. Now in the pr silver side, I'm on from 9 to 10. In the gold side, I'm on from, uh, it includes uh, two chat rooms, in the morning and also in the afternoon most days. Premium video, a lot more in depth than what you're hearing now. Email alerts. I give at least six stock ideas and six uh, index ideas every morning. The forum is a message board type way to uh, uh, communicate with me and with other subscribers. And the meetup is something we do every other week that's like a learning video. And then those go into here. Intraday's relative strength. Overcome the fear of missing out. They're anywhere from 15 minutes to 60 minutes long. And they're free to subscribers. So I hope everybody's enjoyed this video. Have a great night. And I will talk to you later.